welcome guys so in this video we are going to learn about wallets and uh, how uh, and private key pairs uh, uh, for EOS accounts uh, how to create open unlock and import wallets uh, and manage them and how to create uh, account keys public private key pairs for EOS accounts and import them uh, in wallets and use them to interact with uh, uh, Cleo's uh, command line tool that is provided by EOS uh, development toolkit. So uh, what a wallet is? A wallet is a container that stores your public private key pairs or your accounts for the blockchain. Um, in this uh, we are using KUSD service for uh, uh, to manage wallet services that is provided by uh, KUSD services provided by EOS IO development toolkit. So we will be using it. So let's get started. For uh, starting KUSD, you will need uh, KUSD command to simply start the KUSD service. And uh, then uh, uh, now let's see how to list uh, the wallets, current wallets uh, that are stored in our uh, KUSD service. So let's uh, Clio's wallet list. Clio's wallet list command will list the wallets that are currently uh, open and unlocked. So uh, yeah, here is a wallet uh, that I have recently created. Uh, so uh, uh, it is showing uh, here in the wallets list. So now let's create a new account for the testing purpose. For uh, creating an account, uh, we will use uh, Clio's wallet create to console and uh, to console will uh, create the account and on the console uh, it means it will uh, save the wallet for in the patch uh, storage uh, but for more secure wallets or development purpose or production purposes uh, uh, you can use to file uh, wallets um, so uh, after that we will uh, mention minus n and wallet name wallet5 uh, that will that we will use uh, for our wallet so great uh, now the wallet file is created and wallet is created and here is the newly created wallets password so copy and paste it in a secure place so uh, now our wallet is created uh, let's uh, open our wallet uh, by the command clio's wallet uh, open and minus and wallet 5 so it will open my uh, wallet 5 wallet now let's unlock now we have to unlock the wallet that is uh, opened so let's uh, unlock the wallet Clio's wallet unlock same command just the unlock keyword and wallet 5 so this will unlock the wallet but it will ask for the password of the wallet so uh, now our wallet is unlocked. Let's let's list the uh, uh, wallets again from the command Clio's wallet list. Here we go. So you can see the difference here. Uh, the wallet four was previously created wallet, uh, and uh, wallet five is uh, uh, the wallet that we have just created now. And the static is uh, showing that this wallet is unlocked. So uh, the static will appear on the wallet's name that uh, uh, that is unlocked. Uh, it means the wallet 4 is currently locked. So uh, now we have unlocked the wallet. Uh, now let's see uh, the keys uh, list in the wallet. Clios. Clios. Sorry, uh, this is not the command. Uh, the command is use uh, wallet keys. So uh, here is the empty area. Of course, uh, we have not imported uh, uh, any key in our wallet. So let's create a uh, first a public private key pair <coughs> and import it in our wallet. So for creating the key, we will use Clio. Uh, create key and again to uh, console so this will generate a public private key pair in the console and uh, uh, you can copy and paste it in a secure place 
So uh, this is our new regenerated key pair and now we will import it in our wallet. So uh, to import it uh, we will use uh, Clio's wallet import and uh, the wallet name that is wallet5 and uh, now we will mention private key parameter uh, that will be used to uh, mention the private key here. So we can copy and paste the private key here and uh, run the command great so it says uh, imported private key for this public key and uh, here is our public key that is imported so uh, it means it is imported correctly uh, in this way you can import any key you want in our in your wallet uh, if it is from local blockchain or uh, testnet or mainnet any account you can import the key uh, in your wallet like this so uh, now our wallet uh, contains a key that we have just uh, imported uh, let's see the list again here we go so here is the uh, key that we have recently created and uh, now it is uh, uh, showing in our wallet uh, so but we can also uh, do one more thing uh, it is currently showing only the public key uh, we can also see the private keys uh, in for this public key that are imported in our wallet uh, by mentioning the password of the wallet so for this uh, uh, we can use the command clio's wallet private key and uh, the name of our wallet and after that we will mention password so the password is uh, that we have uh, uh, created the wallet and uh, stored it here so we will copy and paste the password like this and run the command boom uh, so it is now showing the private key uh, with our public key uh, so it will show all uh, uh, private key for all the key pairs that are imported in our uh, in this wallet uh, if we are mentioning the password and private keys like this so uh, thanks for watching this was uh, 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 just a lesson for wallets and managing it and uh, managing key pairs uh, with the wallets and interacting them with Kilios so in the next uh, few lessons we will learn how to map accounts with public private key pairs and how to import them in wallets uh, using Cleos. Thank you.